Honestly, these are absolutely game changing. They're relatively new. I've tried, for all the, those of you that are familiar to who I am, my name's Ben Fisher, I own Tattoo Method Pro. I've taught thousands of people worldwide all using artificial skin. So it is massively important to me that these are top, top quality. So I just wanna talk through a few of the points about these mats and why I think they are the best available. There's been a few people say that they're hard to tattoo or that they're hard to clean. They're not, you've just got to do things properly, which I'll explain in a second. So some of the key points, they take the stencil unbelievably well. If we're comparing it to other top brands out there and other brands, your cheap ones off Amazon, because they're so oily or like rubbery feel, they just smudge. I mean, people on my course, we all know that sometimes you've, you've got to be leaving the mats overnight just for the stencil to actually stay on the mat. Time consuming, ball ache, using talcum powder and other things just to try and get that stencil to stick is a complete nightmare. There is none of that with skins. They've got a textured surface. One side's textured, one side is like the other mats, just almost glossy. The textured feel, it's almost, it's not furry to touch, but it's almost got that feeling really, really textured. The most realistic mats that I've ever come across because a person's skin is not just perfectly smooth. It's got that textured feel to it. So these are the most hyper-realistic mats that I've come across. The other bonus, depending on where you live in the world, these just really plain, um, light colored mats, they're not ideal for you because you're surrounded by people with darker skin. They offer the full range of the Fitzpatrick stick scale. So you can order whatever shade you want. Perfect for, like I say, if you're in an area that's surrounded by a certain skin tone, perfect. But also if you want to practice and get used to, familiarize yourself with how the gray wash systems and different colors react to a different skin tone. So what I want to quickly do is show you the two most important things, how to tattoo them and also make it easy to clean. And then also how to put a stencil on. Super simple to do both. There's not many steps, but there is one key point when it comes to wiping your mats that I just want to quickly go over now and then I'll demonstrate it. Because of that textured feel, on other mats, let me just show you on the back. So I'm just gonna grab this. I'm not putting gloves or anything like that on, it's just demonstration purposes. We're not tattooing a real person. But what we found with the, old, with the other brand mats, you can really scrub the mat, really get it clean, put bleach on there, everything, to get them clean. Because these are so realistic and textured, if you're scrubbing the mat really hard, you're gonna damage the surface of the mat and that texture, you're almost gonna rub it away and cause damage to the mat, exactly like you would when tattooing a real person, if you're scrubbing them really hard, you're just gonna traumatize the skin. It'll end up making it more painful for customer for one, and it'll cause problems. You should just have to gently wipe the area and it be clean, which is exactly what happens with these mats, which I'm gonna demonstrate now. So like always in all my videos and lessons, I am actually trialing new machines at the minute, but I'm just gonna use the Solnova Unlimited I think I've got a five liner in there, just solid black. All I'm gonna do is pull a few lines. So the key here, I'll do a few lines and a little bit of stipple shading, just to use as an example. Now, Skins recommends using Vaseline. I don't actually have any Vaseline. I've just got Yayo ointment. Um, I would never use Vaseline on a person it doesn't nourish the skin, it just creates a barrier, which is fine for when you're on these mats. So if you've got Vaseline, it'll do the same thing. But make sure that you're covering the mat in your ointment or Vaseline. Exactly like you would on a normal person, a real human being. This is why I love these mats so much, because they are so lifelike. 
So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a few lines. I'm going to push one, pull one, do a few little wiggly ones. And then what I want to do is just a little bit of stipple shading. For anybody interested, if you're brand new to tattooing, obviously I've got a 30 day full course that teaches you all the basics using these mats. From line work, shading, stipple shading, you name it, we cover it. It's totally free of charge. There'll be links in the video. So for, this is how you would tattoo a mat. Make sure you've got the ointment on it, gives it that protective layer. Do your lines, your shading, exactly like you would do on a person. Then when it comes to cleaning the mats, remember, just like a human, you wouldn't be rubbing it really, really hard like we do on the other mats to get them clean. All you've got to do is I just use a cleaning wipe. You can use normal tissue. Um, some people use a bit of baby oil on the wipes as well. Just that oil base. But I literally just use these Dettol multi-purpose wipes. Again, you would never use these on a person, just on the practice mats. Just take your... That is it. <laughs> that is as literally as easy as it is. You can see it slightly smudges. What they recommend then is a little bit more ointment, exactly like you would on a person, just over the top again. Give that a little wipe. Zero pressure. Just ever so gently wipe the skin. And that is it, perfectly clean. So I'll just quickly go over that again. So remember, we've wiped the area now. We're gonna just put a little bit more ointment on. I'm just gonna do an area underneath. I'm gonna do a few more lines. Just some diagonal ones. Nothing fancy. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of brush shading or pendulant shading. Stipple effect again, just using lining needle. So again, all I'm gonna do is just ever so gently, there's no need to scrub the mat with these. They're so realistic. Is just wipe the area like so. Perfect first time. So give it a good clean. Got a fresh uh, wipe here. And then as recommended, a little bit of ointment over the top again. And then just another gentle wipe and it's going to keep the mat perfect. The thing that some people have problems with is because they're used to different brands of mats that are not hyper realistic like this, they're scrubbing the mat. What happens then is it's going to damage that surface layer. It is to represent skin as close as possible. There's no need like the other mats to be scrubbing it really hard. You cause damage. Next, I want to quickly show you how to apply a stencil. Now with other brands, Amazon or other well-known brands, the annoying part is putting a stencil on and having to wait hours and hours and hours for it to dry, usually overnight. And like I say, I've always recommended a different brand, which I'm gonna have comparison videos out there, really well-known. You had to leave that actually overnight or even put it in oven on a low temperature for half an hour just to dry the mat. With this, nothing like that. You apply your stencil 10 to 15 minutes max. It's dry, ready to tattoo. When it comes to what to use, so these are just a few brands, probably one of the most world known for applying stencils, stencil stuff. Then there's Honey, I've got another load as well that I've trialed. I wouldn't use any of them. Cheapest chips, I would never use this on a person, but it is absolutely brilliant for these mats. <clears throat> Just green card, it's available on Amazon. Cheap as chips, next day delivery. I wouldn't really use this on a person, but it is perfect for these mats. To apply it, all you do is just rub 
your stuff onto the mat. Make sure it's evenly spread wherever you're going to apply your stencil. There's no need for talcum powder or other things that other brands recommend. This is so realistic. Get your stencil ready. You can see I've just printed a few out. It doesn't matter which technique you use to create your stencil, whether you're drawing it by hand or anything else. The important thing is just to apply even pressure. So just place it on the mat. What I usually use is a sponge or rather than just pressing with your hand, I'll just use my sleeve. Just press, push down firmly five to 10 seconds. Make sure you've got even pressure so you don't miss any of the stencil. Pull it off and you've got a perfect stencil. Like I say, the beauty about these mats is because of the texture, it's almost like they absorb and dry the stencil on the surface of the mat rather than it being shiny. Now, Skins recommends that you can use both sides, which I've, I've actually tested you can use the shiny side and the textured side. Would I personally? No, I wouldn't just because the shiny side is not super hyper realistic. You want to practice to the best of your ability and have it as lifelike as possible. And for the quality of these mats, in my personal opinion, I want them to be as realistic as possible. I want the results to be as realistic as possible and to transition from mats to skin as easily as possible. The brands that I used to recommend, these are a better quality and actually cheaper. So for the sake of a few pound, personally, in my opinion, although they say that you can use both, I would just use the textured side because it is realistic. I won't be using the other side just for the sake of saving a few quid. I'm more bothered about the quality of my practice than saving a few pounds each time. And like I said, these mats are actually cheaper than the other brands and better quality, in my opinion. And I'm sure once you've used them, you'll have the same. But literally, we can see how clear, there's no distortion, it's not smudging. Uh, with the other brands, what happens is when you're trying to get a really crisp, detailed piece, because the rubber, essentially, it, it smudges because it's not absorbing it. Now, I'm not sure on the technical reasons exactly why, but I think because of that texture and almost furry feel almost, it doesn't spread. And it's gonna be vital later on, especially if you're on my course when we get to doing portraits, realism, and all the fun stuff, that stencil is crucial. And I cannot stress how easy it is on these mats to apply. So we've gone through tattooing the mats, how to clean them. Just make sure you're using the ointment before, during and after the tattooing section. Do your tattoo exactly as you would, following whatever methods you want. Obviously, like I said, if you're on my course, there's exact ways of doing things and drills to improve and implement them techniques. Do your tattoo, do your shading and then just all it requires is just a light wipe. There's no need to be scrubbing the mats and damaging the skin exactly like you would be damaging the skin on a real person. So just a quick one. We've got this stencil, what, 10, 15 minutes to dry. What I always do as well is after you've applied the stencil, just give it a few minutes and then just with some dry tissue, just place it over the top and just press down. What that'll do is help pull any excess stencil off. Obviously not all of it's gonna dry. The bit in contact with the skin in a real person or the mat on these artificial will dry. But and then it's the surf, the above the surface stencil stuff that actually then all smudges. So just patting it with some dry tissue helps bring any of that excess stencil away. But I just wanted to quickly show you, it's like I say, it's had 10 to 15 minutes and as we're rubbing the ointment or Vaseline over the top, we can see there's barely any smudging at all. So compare that to the other mats, you'd literally have to leave 24 hours overnight to get this same dryness level. And again, as you're wiping it, 
the stencil is still very, very visible. It is like no other. Like I said, I've trialed countless Amazon products, countless other really well-known brands, and none have compared to this in the slightest. So I just wanted to show you after a small duration of time, letting it dry, pat away any excess. And then as you're putting your Vaseline or your ointments on and wiping it away, you're still gonna have a really super clear to see stencil to carry out your tattoo.